All righty then. Hope your weekend's going to be good. Um, we are very excited though. A couple mm. of weeks ago, we had Kanye, Kanye on the show. Yeah. And we spoke to her about what she's been doing. And not only is she just killing it out there in, in her career, but in every sense of the word. Yeah. If you've seen this trailer yeah. of this then movie, you know that's what we're oh talking about. My no, we know her. We know her, uh, uh, Kanye here on Expresso. But I think a lot of us know her on the surface. We've seen her acting in many different films and we've gotten to love her as well. But I think none of us has ever seen her act in a thriller. Right? And this is a, is thrill a minute. thriller of no. She's married to this man who's rich. He dies, and then she's left there not knowing what to do with herself. I mean, honestly, have a look at this. Where's my popcorn? Human trafficking and women abuse are some of the topics that have been making their rounds in our wonderful country, sadly. And this movie really tackles all those topics. I'm at Monte Cassino here at the premiere of the movie Red Room, and I'm so interested to find out exactly what the film's about. It is one of the darkest but most necessary tales which Kanye has told. The first 15 minutes are the lightest viewers can expect. After that, her character is simply fighting to survive. I think that I share a similar story with Zama, especially with my past. And I think going back into that character allowed me to introspect and say, have I really grown? Have I really changed? Have, am I really strong as I claim to be? So preparing for Zama was quite painful because it brought about a lot of pains and scabs that I used to have from the past. But I enjoyed it fully because it allowed me to also understand where we are as women in South Africa today. I want people to understand that women are resilient. Women are stronger than what people think. Women actually run the world and women are the most disappointed human beings on earth. And this is a film to understand that give a woman, you know, a 10 rand and she'll raise a nation. The thing about being in a, in a movie like this that tackles issues of society in today's time, it's a beautiful thing because now I'm given the opportunity, but there are people like Albert and Corsi out there who are in the human trafficking field. And we are tasked as actors to tell these stories, you know, because this is what's happening. And, and it needs not to just sit in the cinema or at home and watch them, but it should really, it should start a dialogue, you know, of we as men, where are we failing our women? Where are we failing our sisters? Where are we failing our mothers? Then if we understand that, then we can take it to next door in the suburb and the whole city itself. What I would like people to get out of this particular movie, I'd like them to consider the male side, right? Of men, we have power. Men, you need to start respecting your woman. I would really like the men to really look deep, deep down and just find that thing of, guys, these are our sisters, these are our mothers, these are our daughters. So that's what I would like them to take away from this movie. So we need to focus. Stimulus death cannot be in vain. We have to leave. It's this. a bold producer who backs a film which confronts head on what's so prevalent, but equally what is kept so hidden from exposure. A.B. Musa was a man unafraid to put this on screen. So it was really a, a film about trying to create a thrilling experience and telling an important message through an entertaining story. And developing a character that's so powerful in this movie is something that's very unique and special. But you know, Kani is such a unique actress that she's one that once she becomes committed to a project, she really puts herself fully into it. So from that point of view, it was really an, a creative challenge for the director who has been able to bring out the best in the, the lead character of the movie. So I think it's not only a South African challenge, I think it's a global challenge. If you look at the reflection of human trafficking, those are all key issues, which generally the majority, the women are challenged having to face that on a daily basis. The name of my character in the movie is Lindile. She basically is a subconscious of the main character that is played by Kanyimbao. And basically I'm there to remind her that the place that she's in at that particular moment, everything that she sees is not what it seems to be. Playing this character for me was not that difficult because it was so easy to tap into the emotions because I was going through similar things that Lindile was going through at that particular time. So for me, it wasn't really like a deep thing that I had to like go into this character. I was this character and she was telling my story and I was telling her story. So it was absolutely amazing combination of myself and the character. So it was absolutely fantastic. Red Room delivers a thrilling and rightly disturbing journey through this reality as it opens tomorrow, the 8th of March. Safest place that any woman could be with her son.